And now, your local weather authority forecast. Cloudy, seasonably very warm, dry and breezy. That was the big story this afternoon. This is a liable good midland later on your Monday afternoon. We're just beginning to cool off. We have a good look at the Wilco building, and we have a good look at the broken clouds out there. Very high up in the atmosphere and not producing any rain. Pretty low relative humidity and an elevated risk for fire weather. Please be mindful of that. Satellite and radar showing clouds moving from west to east and as they do so bring in some of those stronger winds to the surface. Those wind particles moving from west to east indicating the strong surface winds and we're going to continue to see that here in the basin. Pretty warm still even right now and that sun will set pretty soon but we are still feeling like it is May out there. We're sitting at 80 in Midland right now, 83 in Big Spring, 83 in Snyder, 88 in Dryden. Earlier, we were in the low 90s and outside of our viewing area, Del Rio, we're sitting at 92 degrees back in the 70s right now in Marfa. So either way, temperatures above normal for this time of year with just some broken clouds out there. 80 officially the airport in Midland. Once we get close to 15% relative humidity and lower, that's where we have to watch out for that fire risk. 17% relative humidity in Midland right now. With the westerly breeze starting to die down, at least for the short term, at 12 miles per hour. Again, there are those 90s in the southern panhandle of Texas, a little bit cooler in the northern panhandle in the 70s, starting to cool off and will continue to cool off overnight into tomorrow morning, eventually dropping. Only in the 50s and 60s, low 60s in Midland and Odessa, mid to upper 60s in Del Rio, and to our friends in San Angelo, upper 50s and lower 60s. And average high this time of year is 66. We got to right around 86, very close to that daily record high of 90 set back in 2008. And we tied the highest low temperature on record in this day in history, 57 earlier this morning. So temperature is well above normal with pretty persistent southwesterly winds along I-20 right now. Starting to die off at 60 miles per hour in Hobbs earlier within the past hour, 25 miles per hour. Winds lighten up overnight into tomorrow morning, but then picking back up in earnest later tomorrow afternoon. These red and purple colored areas in the Guadalupe Pass to the Van Horn region indicate 30 plus mile per hour sustained winds, 20 plus mile per hour sustained winds out of the southwest in a basin with an elevated risk for fire weather. Throughout the next few hours, I do suspect we'll have that threat as well tomorrow. And in Andrews and Martin counties, we still have that threat for the next few hours. Dwindling down though in our chances of that. The Big Bend region still under that. That fire weather warning expiring at 9 p.m. Central Time. Tomorrow, High wind warning in effect till 9 p.m. Central Time, 8 p.m. Mountain Time for Hobbs, Carlsbad, and the Big Bend region. Here in the basin, we have a wind advisory in effect, including Ector and Midland counties for the same time until tomorrow evening at 9 p.m. Central Time. Wind advisory meaning winds make us more than 50 miles per hour. Damaging winds and blowing dust more likely in the Trans Pecos. Cloudy overnight in the 60s, very mild winds in the west. Dying off overnight at 10 to 20 miles per hour, but picking up much later in the overnight to tomorrow morning. Clouds breaking up in southern areas, more organized clouds moving from west to east in northern areas of the basin. A very mild start tomorrow. 80 tomorrow afternoon with dusty with winds from the west at 25 to 35 miles per hour. So not as warm tomorrow and we'll begin to cool off more later tomorrow night into Wednesday morning. Eventually sunnier and warmer as we head into Thursday and Friday. So temperature roller coaster, Maddie. So enjoy the spring like weather. So we'll cool off tomorrow. Not as warm. So uh, go watch out for those strong winds though. Something to keep in mind. Something to keep in mind for your dogs as well. Definitely. You know the dust and just things just blow everywhere in West Texas. And on your patio as well. <laughs> I know you got some furniture. You might want to consider putting that in, honestly. Really? Okay. Yes. See, yeah. these are the tips we need right here. I need to know these things. So I'm um, looking forward to some good tips. We've got 70s, 60s, 80s, good range there. Yeah, not too bad for February. Not bad at all. Thank you, Brian. Of course.